Not footballers. Yes. You understand? Even the footballers that use the stadium, they have money to achieve. They pay yes. them well. We, we are the ones that suffer. Yes. You understand? So we are not animals. And Nigeria is our country. You understand? Nigeria is our country. We have the right to protest, but we will make it peaceful. We are not fighting. We are not killing. Now they are throwing tear gas. We are not even trying to fight. Nobody is fighting. Why is it shooting tear gas? You can see what's going on here. I'm live at Beggar Roundabout. The police are shooting tear gas. And literally, nothing is wrong here. Nobody is saying anything that uh, could result to them throwing tear gas on people. Right? And not that the people are doing anything wrong. They just want to disperse people. Do not protest. That's what it means. Do not, do not protest. That's what it means. Dude! This is what it means. Do not protest. And I can see that there are some uh, media personnel that they have uh, been able to carry alongside with themselves in order to report what is on their own side. This is not right. This is not right. Man, they have dispersed the protestants already. Dispatched the protesters already. Before leaving that place, the uh, very dark man was around that area before they started throwing the struggles. So, hello Nigerians. I'm currently at Metama and uh, I have been to the secretariat this morning and I've walked around the secretariat to see exactly what was going on. For now, there is no protestants on the street. Everywhere is relatively peaceful. People are going about with their normal businesses. Nothing is going on wrong over here. Remember that the minister of the FCT said that there will be no any form of protest around the Igwe Square. And for that reason, you will see in some clip after now where uh, there is heavy deployment of uh, security uh, forces. And, uh, you know, it is now obvious all of us, we all know already that it is not really, really easy to even say anything right now in public, you know. And uh, media have been attacked, like we saw yesterday. It was reported in uh, News Central, where uh, a reporter was assaulted in uh, Lagos. And we even saw where the Nigerian Union of Journalists chairman in Abuja was uh, assaulted by the uh, commissioner of police, Abuja chapter, right in FCT, close to Eagle Square as of yesterday. As a journalist, the journalists are just like uh, military or paramilitary or even police because they are reporting exactly what is happening. So if the police and the paramilitary or whatsoever are not covering, I mean, protecting the journalists, then how do we even get the news across? The journalists are not to report for the government or for the people. After all, government is, the, is of the people, by the people, and for the people. So it is to report exactly what is happening on the streets, whether uh, to exactly bring to fold what is happening from the government end and for the citizens end in order, you know, to uh, for people to understand what is actually going on, whether it's peaceful, whether it's been orchestrated by some hoodlums or by some certain group of people and all of that to destabilize the government or not. But if the political, I mean, the, the, the security architectures are already, you know, uh, harassing the journalists, then at the end of the day, what are we going to be doing here? So you stay true with me throughout today as I'll be bringing you all the updates across Abuja. Right now, I'm in Metaba and off from here, I should be within the stadium and Kuba Aziz to give you a report on what actually is going on from that end. Thank you for watching.